Hi, I'm Matthew Deckard with Maxwell. Everyone in Chesmer sees their new communities being built on a daily commute. Dawson Landing, Chelsea, and Waterford. Do you know what is being built? Who are the builders? Our schools planned. More shopping. Well, I'm walking Dawson's Landing. Behind me are some no-fee townhomes. Just up the hill are two different show home builders building lane and attached product. Over the hill are the Qualico double front drive show homes. Just past those show homes is the start of Chelsea. And Waterford is to the south. I'll go over these two other communities in future videos. Be sure to watch till the end where we have hints of a future rec center. Today, let's see what Dawson Landing has to offer. I'm Matthew Decord, a born and bred Calgarian that wants to share some of the amazing things about the place I call home. I wear my colors with pride, love the summer and the winter. I'm a road ready pro professional, not afraid to get my hands dirty or lend my tools and expertise to others. Let's have some fun. The first question, what is going to be built is easy. Everything. From apartments to commercial to homes, over 14 different phases, over what could be a decade. So let's focus on what is being built now, by whom, and at what prices. The developer, West Creek Developments, plans to work in phases, roughly from the northeast quadrant next to 17th Avenue and the existing homes to the southwest. And yes, the names are confusing, as they also did the community of West Creek just to the east. The entire development is higher density than the rest of Chesmer, with the first phase being even higher. Morrison is building attached homes or duplexes with through alleys. Trico has what we called lane homes, that is detached homes, no attached garages and rear alleys. And Sherman is building no fee townhomes, again with rear alleys. I have some strong opinions on the no fee structure, but that rant will be for another video. The biggest challenge with all of these is if when you decide to build a garage, there will not be much of your yard left. And if you want a deck as well, kids will need much more than a dozen feet to play in, right? The double front yard product solves the problem, but is pricier. One group of builders is Broadview, Sterling, and New Vista in Dawson's Landing. I said group, as all three of these builders are owned by Qualoco. Additionally, Truman has a small selection of double front drive lots, about a dozen. So what is the pricing like? The no fee townhomes by Truman, which are quite large for a townhome, start around 379,000, right now, summer 2021. The only ones currently under construction backs to a water slash park feature. For just under 385, you can own Morrison's attached product. Might not be quite as big as the townhome, but offers more privacy. 400,000 is the starting price for the lane product that Trico is building, a bungalow. The two-story offering more space requires 435. And the double front drives range from 555,000 to 600,000, depending upon the builder, starting price. In the next phase, it will be a lot more large triple car garages with even higher starting prices. And finally, what will this community offer? Schools? Shopping? Parks? There are two school sites in Dawson's. The first is behind me, roughly around where that pile of dirt is. Steep in phase 10. I wouldn't expect kids to be going to the school there anytime soon. And here is the second school site for a separate high school shared with Chelsea to the west and Dawson's Landing to the east. For the lucky kids, some preliminary thoughts include an adjacent rec center, skating or swimming for a gym. Downside, no timeline on transforming this pile of dirt into a school. I don't expect it anytime soon. I just like talking of schools as having the land set aside as maybe half the battle. Until politicians find the funds to build these schools, the schools are years or decades away. Until then, the great parks, in addition to the planned parks. 
West Creek has been hard work over the past 18 months and is still working on transforming what was flat land into this park. While technically not part of Dawson's, it's adjacent and I'm excited to watch them finish this space, adding two amenities the Dawson Creek residents will enjoy. In Dawson itself, there are five parks, with the schools being labeled number two and number three on this map. The biggest feature, number one, the Eco Park Wetlands Complex will be amazing, judging by its concept art and how well West Creek has completed the other park. The stormwater retention pond, number five in phase three, will likely be the next green space developed. Linear parks are just paths, helping to connect the various parts. Number four, the sub-neighborhood park in the fourth phase will be the first purpose-built park in the community and will include bocce ball courts, basketball courts, and a creative playground amongst other features. And finally, number seven, the reclaimed oil or gas well that no one really wants to live on top of. Let's make it into a park. There are two shopping areas. The first is the neighborhood node located directly across from the existing commercial in Rainbow Falls, creating a node. Intended to be more evolved than just a collection of stars, it reminds me of Kensington or Garrison Woods, or London, England, or Madrid, Spain, or you get the idea. Commercial on the main level, convenience store, bakery, coffee shop, and apartment buildings above. Great idea. A bigger commercial development spanning from Dawson across 17th Avenue, the town center will actually be part of Bridgeport, another future project of West Creeks. The town center aims to be the neighborhood node just on steroids. Talking of 17th Avenue, long-term plans calls for a massive upgrade. Two-lane highway in both directions with transit down the middle. Talking of transit, it made the news that Chesmer might be getting Calgary Transit as soon as this fall. I made a video, link is below. And the new rec center, next to the high school site on which I don't have too much to share. Only referred to in all of the documents as Regional Recreation Area Concept which is to be guided by Chestermere's Indoor Recreation Feasibility Study, Master Recreation Plan, and Open Spaces Plan, <sighs> which has yet to be completed. Another arena? Swimming pool? Something else? Get involved and tell City Council what you think we need. I would love the opportunity to show you Dawson's Creek, Waterford, Chelsea, and the other future communities in addition to the existing areas. If you want the thrill of reading several hundred pages of area structure plans, the links are in the DAEM description. I'll have a similar video on Chelsea out in a little bit, and the link will also be in the DAEM description. If you're looking for a new home, it makes sense to look at what both communities offer. I'm Matthew Dekert, your resident Chestermere Realtor. Hope this helped.